With roughly 700 million motorcycles on the road today, safety features are a pretty serious concern. So we're doing something a little different today. Instead of my cameraman on meat operating the camera, he's going to be testing some of these systems firsthand. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. For Amit, his motorbike is his morning commute. For the last two years, I've been riding every day. I've been riding away from my parents' house to Tel Aviv. I ride inside Tel Aviv, which is a crazy place to ride in. It's the easiest way for him to get around town. It's just not a very safe one. There's always one dumb idiot who tried to kill me on the road. It's not an exaggeration. Israel sees around 35 annual motorbike fatalities. The global figure is about 380,000, to say nothing of the injuries. We're talking about on the order of 1% of all riders every year getting injured uh, riding two-wheelers. And if you take on the number of riders that are, that are using two-wheelers around the world, you get into the millions. Eric Tamam had the idea to add an extra set of senses to his bike after his own close call on the road. The truck came up from the left side and totally cut me off. Uh, I had no idea the truck was coming. I didn't know it was coming up for me. In fact, it, it seemed like traffic on the left side was going slower than me, but he ended up going around that traffic and cut in front of me. Uh, and that particular instance, I had to hit the brakes. Luckily, I had an ABS on my, on my bike, so I was able to stay upright and ended up going shoulder first into, 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 the, um, into the truck. His solution? A tiny radar that can be stuck anywhere on a bike or even a helmet that sends a warning directly to your ears if there's a nearby hazard. So we had Amit suit up and take it for a ride. It was really reassuring for me because I, I was a, a lot more... I didn't have to check a lot of my mirrors and I knew someone is passing me on my left or someone is passing me on my right. Less chance of injury or even worse on your morning commute then? This part of the tech sector is very competitive after the Mobileye driver assistance system for cars sold for $15 billion in 2017. And for a heavily urbanized country, motorcycles are a growth industry. If you look at the congested environment, they become more congested every year. The more cars, more passenger cars. The urban environment is really hard to navigate. And the two-wheelers are the vehicles that can be used in order to maneuver in this environment. Uri's company has been around a little longer, and he wants to corner the market for vehicle fleets now dominating the delivery sector. The problem is that when you ride, it's a very noisy environment, it's a very open environment, it's very problematic, it's hard to grasp because you don't, it's a very primitive vehicle in which you operate, it's very hard to understand the environment. So the rider assistance systems help you to understand and orient the environment and based on the potential hazards, react to them in time. His system uses cameras to scan the environment and a series of directional lights mounted on mirrors to warn you of danger, entirely silent. You couldn't feel it. You don't have to notice it. Just lights, quiet, not stressful, and no beeps, no nothing. Um, if you want to notice it, you need to notice it, you will notice it. If you don't, you don't have to. At the moment, motorbikes only make up 4% of Israel's ground traffic, but have seen a dramatic spike in accidents in recent years. Perhaps the answer is a technological one.